Hey guys. So, here I am now as a pre-disclaimer before we start. Everything expressed in this video is my own personal view and opinion. I don't claim to be an expert in anything. Anything at all. In fact, I'm an expert in not being an expert. There we go. So, uh, getting ready for our day hike tomorrow. Gonna go through my bag real quick and I thought, okay, well let's go ahead and make a quick video. So this is my day hike setup. It's a day hike, light patrol, just kind of go out for the day or even an overnight. Uh, if you notice, I've gone with the old Vietnam or as the Marines I think call it, deuce gear setup or the old LBE. This is the, uh, I believe this is the 65. This is the uh, low padding. There is a, the Y harness, which was updated, I believe in 84 or 82, which is the Y yoke, uh, which is uh, popular out there. It's got more padding, really nice, but a little more bulky if you throw a bag on top of that. I use just a musette bag, so that's what I went with. I got with the Fox Outdoor Gear Reproduction M65. There is reproductions in the nylon ones. Um, this is the biggest one on the market. You can do. You can go on the website and do your own comparison. I'm not here to do the math for you, but that is actually the biggest one out there. So uh, this is my day hike bag. When I'm uh, hiking, I'll have some VDUs and other stuff in my pocket. This is part of my setup here, and it is the Cold Steel um, Bushman buoy. It's really nice. A lot of people complain because it uh, they ship production to Taiwan and. Uh, People don't like it because they took actually, I think, two centimeters or two quarter centimeters off of the width production from the original model. It's still great. It's actually really nice. Keep that on a uh, Liberty Mountain Carabiner, 20, 20 kilonewtons, emergency repel. And actually, so a little tag and shout out, I actually got this idea from uh, Wrangler Star. Watching his videos, keeps his, um, I believe it's the Spyderco Bushcraft or Bushler, whatever. When he uses and he keeps it on a carabiner and I saw that and he explained that and I thought that's pretty damn nice so that's what I do so that's always on me you notice I'm going with a modified carry of my uh, military square first aid kit this is a modified first aid kit I'm a paramedic so I've loaded it up with some extra goodies hidden in there a little rehydration salts and quick crab open with a bunch of goodies in there I uh, technically am the designated medic, but I like to keep my personal first aid good, you know. First aid first, buddy aid second, first aid last. So here's my bag. Uh, start with the bottom. You can see here I've got uh, the tabs. People don't like the tabs. If you know how to use them, they work great. Open up my tabs and right on the bottom carrying, of course, the old military poncho and poncho liner. One of the greatest military creations uh, almost ever. This works as a 40 degree sleeping bag. This is my summer, spring through uh, early winter, and I live in the Midwest. This is great. I have a second poncho liner I add when it gets really cold. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and modified my poncho liner, took it to my cleaners, and put a zippered hole right in the middle, and it stays permanently attached to my poncho. When I need to, I just uh, pull a, you know, if you know how to properly set the poncho liner in you can pop it off real easy so I can just throw this on if it's raining and or just zip it up and make it a sleeping bag or separate them as need be I have added the uh, emergency all-weather space blanket uh, the space brand all-weather space blanket um, the OD these are great um, for 14 bucks if it gets shredded I don't care it works as a ground shelter or whatever if it gets wet whatever so these two sit on the outside of my uh, pack here on the sides, I've got two can U.S. canteen setups. Uh, these are the modified or updated setup. I have the Nalgie brand can GI canteen. Uh, these are great. These take boiling water. You can boil water and pour that straight in there. Standard uh, plastic, uh, uh, the standard bottles for the military. A pre-95 or somewhere between 95 and 98, somewhere around there. Uh, they were still not BPA free. After that, they became BPA free, and then they added their Flex model somewhere along there, almost right before the 2000s. And they're great. They don't take boiling water. You can't uh, put boiling water. You can't put them in the dishwasher, uh, and that's screwy. So I switched to Nalgene. Nalgene is BPA free, and you can put boiling water straight in there. There's some great 
videos from Canteen Cup Shop. They explain why these are so great. In line with that, a uh, Canteen Cup and the, if I can fish it out of here, the Canteen Cup Shop Stove. Damn, that thing is great. Get one if you don't have one. Not affiliated, but God, that thing is awesome. You can uh, just shave wood and feed into a real fire under there. It works great. Got some uh, potable aqua on the sides there. And this one is an exact mirrored reproduction of the one on the left. There's the potable aqua. I do use iodine tablets. They work. I also carry some backup water purification. We'll go through it. So this is my bag. I got my directions of where to find me. You can't see that right now, but someday maybe if you find my body. Open it up. I got my, uh, my ration pack for the day. This is what I eat. Not necessarily the healthiest. There's a ramen in there, some pink salmon, some smoked mussels because I like them, some instant rice, snackies as I like to call them, and some peanut butter. No day hike or patrol is good without some tobacco. A little tobacco in a tea tin. Have a smoke when you're out there relaxing. Not that I promote smoking or abuse of tobacco or alcohol, but whatever. Reach in here. I've got some jute twine and some two inch silk. I'm a paramedic. I love duct tape. Two inch silk is great for clothing repair. Um, if uh, you know anyone who's medical, ask them. They'll tell you the wonders of it. Reach in here. And this is all pretty much just set up and stuffed in here. A couple chem lights. Just really use two. And a uh, little flashlight chem light. I actually found this on a walk one day around my house. It wasn't working. I brought it home. My wife thought that I could make it work. It took me 10 minutes and I got it to work. It also has a built-in whistle. So it's just an extra little thing just to not use up my chem lights. Uh, also use it to look at the bag at night. Work gloves. These are really cheap. I think they were $2. Uh, Wells Lamont cotton like just garden gloves if uh, you're moving wood picking up wood collecting firewood chopping stuff whatever it's nice to have them they work as pot grabbers and a lot of people say oh they're too bad you know what? it's nice to be able if it's hot to just kind of whip it off your hand uh, if you just need a free hand to grab something with good dexterity these are great and the day I have to use them for tinder I won't cry place those those are great zip ties don't hear people talking enough about zip ties uh, I'm going to have to do a couple videos on things people don't talk about. They don't talk about zip ties, that's for sure. Uh, these are great, great for repair, gear repair, so much better and easier than uh, paracord. Obviously, if you're in the woods, you shave off the excess, pick up, don't litter, leave no trace. Here's my uh, toilet paper, and if you haven't, you need to go out and get these Cottonelle moist disposable wipes. They are biodegradable, and believe me, God love these. These are great. They are a dollar at Target. Go get some. These are just some uh, Quillahan uh, tissue rolled toilet paper. Pick them up at REI or wherever you get your gear at. Backup knife in the bag. It is a uh, Buck XL Large Light or the Buck XL Hunter. It's uh, just a really nice little buck knife. I can note, annotate it on there. I've shown it before. It's a really nice knife. It's just a nice backup knife. I carry essentially just uh, my buoy. And then this guy, I do carry a camper, a Victor Knox camper somewhere around in my pocket. It, uh, it's got a little saw. It's really nice. It's my backup. It stays in the bag. Two bandanas and an extra big trash bag. Self-explanatory. Ah, pride and joy of my bag. I have a quick hammock. This is the Fox Outdoor hammock. It's about 15 bucks. It is not comparable to any of the high-quality silk um, sleeping bags. Uh, oh, sleeping bags. Uh, hammocks out there, these are great. They do the job. The day it rips, I don't care. Uh, comes with some D-hooks. I went to um, Ace Hardware, bought some S-hooks. You can rig it up with some paracord. Maybe there'll be a video on here somewhere about setting up a hammock out there. This is great. doesn't take up too much space. I can just get off the ground. A couple more traps. So, I guess we dropped the video there. So, uh, hammock. Really good hammock. Uh, $15. Picked up at the surplus store. Uh, Fox Outdoor. Hammock, it's pretty good. It holds my buddy and he's pretty heavy. He's behind the camera. <laughs> there he is. And then uh, bag of trash bags, good to have the million uses. Wire saw, real nice little wire saw. Put in this little container, keeps it together. Got that guy in there. Backup water purification. So open this guy up and what do I have in here? 
Got the old bottle dropper with some bleach. Works great. There's a lot of controversy out there about if you should be carrying bleach or how long it lasts or loses potency. Do your own research. Good stuff. Got my, uh, let's see, two beeswax tea lights. These are great for starting fire in really cold, wet environment. Plus, 100% beeswax tea candles are the only ones that you can burn in an enclosed space. 100% beeswax. Uh, I know there's talk about using um, rubbing alcohol that works and burns clean. Uh, beeswax, guaranteed, burns clean. Uh, you don't have to worry about the media that you're using to burn it. It will burn. It will create warmth if I'm in a tent or in a car. This will create warmth. I don't have to worry about CO2 buildup. These are nice. Keep two of those in there. One pair of spare socks. If you're not hiking and carrying a spare socks or bugging out and not having spare socks, you're stupid. That's my opinion. Got my uh, bundle of backup fire. I got a magnesium block with some char cloth. And then I also have some spare matches, cotton balls, and Vaseline. Vaseline is multi-purpose, so it's in there. Toiletry kit. Show you this guy, I won't open it up. We got some mole skin right here, a little pack of tissues, some dis uh, two disposable whisk toothbrushes, some paper towels, uh, they're from Coleman brand. You drop water on them and they expand into paper towels. It's got like 10 of them, great stuff. Ben's 100 uh, or 99 DEET, it's the highest DEET you can get on the market. DEET is good. I don't care what people say, do your math, learn about hydrocarbons, it doesn't kill anybody. Uh, some sunblock, and of course, foot powder. There is a hand sanitizer in there, and that's my toiletry kit. That's uh, my necessities or spare toiletry kit. I have in here my uh, cooking supplies. So along with my canteen, um, check out the Heavy um, Boil Lid Canteen Shop, I think carries them. But Heavy Cover creates two, the, they're a company that create two kind of uh, covers that go on your canteen cup. They create the heavy cover silicone. It's in there, the silicone cover and the metal one. It's got a little um, strainer. These things are great. If you're not using them, you're stupid. No, I'm just kidding. You're not stupid, but maybe you just can't afford them or you have your own system. But I love them. They're great. Two um, Gaiute Design Snow Peak Hot Lips. These things are great. You slip them right on your canteen. You can sip hot stuff. It protects your lips. Essentially, it's just a little silicone lip that forms and goes right over the edge of your canteen cup. They're great. They cost, I think, four or five dollars. You get two of them. I've got them scattered throughout all my gear. They're great. I go with the micro bites, um, spork, spatula knife combo set. It's great. It works. I've used it. I like it. Some spare hexamine, or this is actually the Cool uh, Hagen's Cool Hagen's uh, brand. Hexamine, they're essentially you need two of these to equal one esbit, but I got those as a spare fire starter to cook with if I'm going, you know, kind of conceal if I'm not building a fire. Some Cholula hot sauce packets. Spice up your meal with Cholula. That's right, guys. Cholula, the only hot sauce I use. No, that's not true. I use Tapatio, Tabasco, uh, I don't know. I use a bunch of them. The Louisiana. The Gennaro brand Louisiana, that's good stuff, but I digress. Uh, salt and pepper shaker, combo salt and pepper shaker, and then uh, I think there's a Troxin fuel in there, and that's it. I think there's a loose pack of small matches, paper matches, just as a backup. Can't ever have too much redundancy. And then, of course, the last thing in the bag, it's pretty empty. There's nothing else in here. Oh, wait, wherever we go, take my flag with me. It's a small little, just 